What's up everyone? I'm Big Hush and yes, I'm trying to grow a beard even though it has taken a month just to get this little thin thing. Anyway, I've got a brand new 3D printer, the Chidi X Plus 3 and I'm excited to tell you about it. Now you may have already seen some 3D printed related things on my channel. I don't do a whole lot of it. My channel is not dedicated to it obviously, but I am trying to get more and more into it. The most recent video I did was my Creality 3D scanner, which I hope you'll check that out. That was a really cool item and it ties into this video later on. If you're a subscriber to my channel, one thing you're gonna appreciate is that now I have the capability of printing a Jason mask. That's something I've wanted to do for a long time, but my old printer was too small to be able to do that. Now that I've got a bigger printer, I'm able to print a full-size mask. I'm gonna show you that at the end of this video. Now, straight up front, I was provided this printer in exchange for making a review video and just using it and seeing what I think about it. I don't want you to think that in any way changes whether or not I'd be honest with you about the printer because there's absolutely no way I would compromise that. But I'm gonna be real and tell you that this printer is awesome. I found very few things to complain about and the few complaints that I have are actually remedied already by the company. Also, you should know that they did not tell me what to say or how to say it in this video except for this one piece of information about the company. So bear with me here and let me give you a little bit of info about Chidi Technology. <clears throat> Chidi Technology, founded in 2014, is an advanced 3D printer company able to manufacture a full series of high-quality FDM printers. Chidi has their own R&D center and laboratory. The company has 15,000 square meters of production workshop, 1,000 square meters of R&D center, and annual production of 50,000 sets of 3D printers. Chidi also owns a number of patents and software copyrights. All products have passed the MET Safety Quality Certification, CE, FCC, and ROHS certification. Chidi has a rich experience of OEM and ODM. Chidi Technology also has a very professional international cooperation experience. Chidi has established long-term strategic partnerships with Amazon, Walmart, etc. Chidi is the first Chinese 3D printer supplier who worked with Amazon directly. Hmm. It's been eight years since the Chidi company was founded. Chidi has the most professional R&D team and the quickest after-sales service team. Now, even though I didn't buy this printer, I can attest to the after-sales service team because I did reach out about a couple things and they got back to me really quick with some answers. So that was nice. I don't know a lot about specs on 3D printers. I can put all that information up for you. And those of you who are familiar, you'll know what you're looking at, but I was only looking at the, at the speed of printing, I'm still kind of learning, trying to figure out what it all means really. I wish I had filmed me picking this up at the post office because the box was huge. I was practically carrying an oven out of the post office. It didn't even fit in my little Hyundai Elantra. I gave it a shot. I walked it out to my car and tried to cram it in the back seat in the trunk and there was just absolutely no way. Anyway, my previous printer was one that you had to assemble on your own and it, it took quite a while. It was a little bit tricky, at least for me. This printer, the Chidi X Plus 3 comes assembled. It's just this huge enclosed 3D printer. You pull it out of the box and it's already put together. And that was fantastic. I, I love that part of it. setup for the printer was very easy. It has a walkthrough on the screen right there for you. It also came with a manual, of course, but the fact that it was right up there just showing you one step at a time what to cut, what to remove, because there's packing materials keeping everything safe. The packing was awesome. And I won't show you everything, but there's um, some zip ties and, you know, some styrofoam packing and some foam packing, things like that, that you have to remove, holding everything in place just to keep it all protected. Leveling the bed didn't take that long. Chidi provides a little leveling sheet to use. And also there's the walkthrough on the screen and you can make very, very minor adjustments uh, on screen and it, and it moves it instead of having manual knobs where you have to adjust the bed that way. So I love that. Didn't take very long at all. And it's also got an auto leveling feature once you start printing things. One thing that right off the bat I wasn't a fan of and I'm glad that they have a workaround for it is mounting the filament on the back of the printer. I really don't understand that. I think it's a, a terrible, terrible spot to mount your filament. I wasn't the first person to mention this by any means. Um, there's already a workaround for it. They have some mounts that can be 3D printed and affixed to the side of the printer so that way you're not having to go to the back of the printer to switch out your filament or refill the filament.
course, if you're familiar with 3D printing, one of the first things you do is the test print of Benchy. I did a couple different ones, different filaments. Um, and this thing printed so fast. I think it took 17 minutes on my old printer. It took, I think, close to two hours, about an hour and a half or so. Already, right off the bat, I'm seeing the speed. So needless to say, it only took one test print for me to get very excited and get very eager to start printing more stuff. After that first test print, I started going to town and printing all sorts of stuff. But a lot of that stuff I was printing were things that I scanned using my uh, Creality Ferret 3D scanner. I printed out some little Jason heads based on the scans that I did of the Jason head that I have with one of my masks on it. And they, they turned out fantastic. And these are just small versions. I just wanted to test the waters first, but I started printing them even bigger because one thing I want to sell is little paintable Jason busts in my Etsy shop. And got an Etsy link below if you want to go check those out. I already have some up there. And then from these is where I wanted to start building my full size Jason mask. So I did a little, you know, I used the head scan, but then cut out everything except for the mask and then enlarged it and trying to print a full size mask. And Chidi does have their own slicer software, so I was using that. It's really nice, I compare it to Cura because Cura is what I was using before. It's very, very similar to that. If you've already used Cura, then you'll have no problem adapting to the Chidi slicer software. If you're curious, I use Mesh Mixer for the molding and the actual reshaping of my 3D prints before I put them in the slicer and, and go the rest of the way with it. So let's take a look at this. I didn't record the process of printing all of these because after the first one, uh, I realized there's gonna be a lot of trial and error trying to figure this out because the first one I printed, I printed it all complete thinking I would just drill out the holes and I thought it was gonna be easy to remove this stuff and it was such a pain to remove. This has nothing to do with the printer whatsoever, by the way. It has to do with how good PLA filament is obviously and I didn't I underestimated it completely so that one was on me that was a mistake I made so then I tried to clean it up and I only printed the outer edge on this one this is, and this one's bigger by the way because at first I didn't know how big I could go I so I started small and then I realized hey I actually do have more space I can work with because this printer is huge but again I kind of messed up because I had printed it it was hollow I printed it with the shell out here it was kind of a part of a head you know face over here and I just cut that off but again I didn't like that it left it very rough and and beat up on the back side but then I finally got it nailed down I went back into my sculpting software and cleaned it all up and then I just printed it as is with a few support structures to hold it up and came out with this and I had switched filaments because I ran out of white at the time but here's on some silver filament my 3d printed Jason mask <laughs> tell me that's not cool all it needs is a paint job with some straps and I've got a mask right here that I've manufactured right here at my own house didn't even have to leave the house for it as you can imagine I'm stoked about the possibilities with this if I can start printing my own masks then sky's the limit if you notice the it's a little you know misshapen and kind of rough and warped that's because of my sculpting it printed it exactly as it came into the the printer and the software so this is on me to clean up the uh the shaping of the mask and also tried a different filament just for grins and I, this was on one of the smaller masks but this is some black and red filament didn't really turn out the way i wanted it i think the mistake i made is i printed it on its back and so that's why it got the swirl marks and i should have printed it vertical so it didn't do that again this is just what i'm able to do with the chidi printer now that I have the size and the speed, I can try things like this and we can experiment and we can see what the future holds for us. I'll show you a few shots of some of the other things I was printing. Really just the, the speed of this printer, I know I keep harping on that. That is what changes everything, you know, because when you can print things fast, it's suddenly a lot more fun to play around with your, your 3D printer and, and see what you can do because it's not taking so much time for a print that doesn't turn out the way you want it and disappoints you and then you're discouraged to do it again because of how long it took. And having speed plus quality plus more print space is just the perfect storm for creativity. Now, my question to my regular viewers and subscribers is, do you want to see me paint and customize this 3D printed Jason mask and finish the job on it? Or would you rather do it yourself? Thank you for watching. I hope this video was either helpful or entertaining or informative or maybe a mixture of all three. And I also hope everything is great in your world. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.